cos 3 theta cos 5 theta is equal to any of this. Next, consider which identity that will help you to solve the problems. Reciprocal identity won't help us. Pythagorean's identity won't help us. The quotient identity won't help us. Neither the co-function identity can help us or the even odd identity can help us. Now let's consider sum and difference. Sum and difference can't help us either. None here can help us. So let's consider product. The product formula this, 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 one of them is going to help us. Let's consider double angle. None of this double angle can help us. So let us check half angle formula. None can equally help us. So let's see the one that will help us in product formula. In the product formula, we have cos, cos. Here we have sine, 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 cos, cos, sine. But here we have cos, cos. So the formula that is going to help me solve this problem is this. Next, consider the value of your A and B. My A here is 3 theta and the B is 5 theta. Next is to substitute into this. I'm going to have cos, instead of A, I'm going to have 3 theta plus, instead of B, I'm going to have 5 theta. Next is to solve this. 3 theta plus 5 theta is going to give you 8 theta. But 3 theta minus 5 theta is going to give you minus 2 theta. Consider the trigonometric identity that minus theta is equal to minus sine theta. However, cos minus theta is equal to cos theta without the negative. Hence, I will have this rewritten as and this negative because of this rule will disappear. Next, we choose from our options because this is now our answer. Our answer is A. B can be very tempting. In the next video, we are going to look at two important questions. I will see you in the next video.